work from home revolution. People of the world, welcome back to Send It Rising. I'm the president of the Remote Work Revolution, and there's going to be some spoilers on today's show. Why is that the case? I'm going to tell you why. It's because we're going to be talking about the Tindler Swindler, and that's the main story of the day does he actually have a tiktok account is it actually him we're going to investigate that also we're going to be talking about linkedin three ways the pandemic has dramatically changed the labor market meta threatening to pull instagram and facebook and guess what the french minister and the german minister said we don't care go ahead they're calling facebook's bluff will facebook actually leave the european union i don't think so how valuable is LinkedIn's who's viewed your profile listing? It's also, it's always seemed kind of ridiculous to me. Who cares who's viewed my profile, but apparently there's some money to be made there. Google account hack stops after two-step authentication drops by half. So the number of hacks on Google precipitously dropping. And final story of the day that we're going to cover is Google launching revamped search ads for all my marketing people out there. But let's get to the main story of the day. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if you are familiar with the Tindler Swindler, but this is a spoiler alert. Spoiler alert, central spoiler alert. Do not continue to listen to this unless you've seen the show. Ladies and gentlemen, this piece of work gets 15 months after basically stealing a ridiculous amount of money from these poor women uh, who believe that he was a billionaire. He lies uh, all of the time. Absolutely unacceptable, this dude's behavior. And now apparently on TikTok, at Simon, Simon Leviev official, he's back. But I went to the TikTok and I'm looking at some of the most recent ones and I'm not convinced. I think there is uh, someone that is impersonating him. That's my take on it. But the fact that like, people like this exist at all makes my stomach hurt. Um, according to thetab.com, it hasn't been confirmed the account actually belongs to him, but the TikTok in question posts videos of him talking to the camera, many which weren't filmed in the Netflix documentary or on his Instagram account. According to this, they say it looks legit. The feed is exactly what you'd expect, him in fancy cars and just doing all that, that nonsense that he does. In one video, he thanks Netflix and the ladies for his Instagram following going up so much. Um, he, that dude is an absolute, he's like the incarnation of some evil bad mojo. In the show, you can see that he actually lives in this really like rundown apartment. And so obviously he wants to live this um, incredible billionaire lifestyle. Um, he just does it at, at the expense of these poor women that he uh, basically gets them to think that he's a billionaire. And it's, it's just incredibly sad. It's on Netflix if you want to watch it. LinkedIn economists, three ways the pandemic has dramatically changed the labor market. Well, this is going to be fairly obvious, don't you think? Remote work is highly attractive. Yeah, no, duh. The fact that people are, I should say, bosses are forcing people back into the office makes me sick to my stomach. According to the article, in March 2020, only one in every 67 paid U.S. jobs posted on LinkedIn offered remote work. By the start of 2022, that number has ballooned to one in six. One in six jobs are remote jobs. It's a great reshuffle. That is incredible. According to CNN.com, 87% of employees would prefer to stay remote at least half of the time. Workers are moving into new rules more quickly, obviously, and empowered workers are demanding more. These are the takeaways from the LinkedIn article. As you all know, as the president of the work from home revolution, it is incredibly important to me that we fight. We fight the powers that be because less cars on the road, less deaths, on the road, more autonomy, more flexibility in your schedule, no need for a commute. All of these things are incredibly important. Stay strong, my brothers and sisters, stay strong. Meta threatening to pull Instagram and Facebook in Europe over privacy laws. Regulators say, please do go right ahead. This from 9to5mac.com in a new regulatory filing this month, Facebook. Parent company Meta renewed its threat to pull both Facebook and Instagram in the European Union over privacy laws. Regulators in the EU, however, have quickly called Meta's bluff and even went as far uh, to say that life is very good without Facebook and that we would live very well without Facebook. Thank you very much. So there is a negotiation, obviously, um, and a lack of an agreement between the two sides, according to the article. Um, new filing this month, Meta renewed previous threats or promises that it would be forced to pull Facebook and Instagram if an agreement wasn't reached. So basically, Folks in the EU don't want all that data going to the United States. Um, there's a lot of privacy um, back and forth um, qu 
quote, we have absolutely no desire and no plans to withdraw from Europe, this from Facebook, obviously, but the simple reality is that Meta and many other businesses, organizations, and services rely on data transfers between the EU and the US in order to operate global services. That's from a Meta spokesperson. So basically, if they're unable to go back and forth with this data, they feel like they're not going to be able to do their job. Will they actually leave the EU? Of course, they will not. Um, it's all just silly bluffing, as far as I can tell. How valuable is LinkedIn's who viewed your profile listing? Well, it depends what you do for a living, right? If you're in sales, I imagine there is some value there. This is from socialmediatoday.com. They uh, put the question to the community. 43% of uh, participants in the social media, excuse me, social media today, yeah, dot com poll said that it is helpful based on a thousand votes. Um, so basically, um, Quote, if it's a first degree connection, you can send them a simple note thanking them for stopping by your profile and asking what brought you to my profile today. If they aren't a connection yet, you think you may want them to be, send a connection request with this message. So basically, if you're in sales and you want to develop connections, do one-to-ones, uh, folks that have viewed your profile, you can simply reach out to them. I find that if they look at your profile and they're not connecting with you, is it really that warm of a lead? Probably not. And are people genuinely looking for my services on LinkedIn? Are they looking for like a website and that's the, the way they're going to do it? No, wouldn't they just go to senderrising.com, fill out a form or call us or, or reach out in some other way? Do I really need to coax them into making that next step? I'm not sure. Um, as I mentioned in a previous um, video, Harvard article, uh, the, there are fewer at-bats nowadays for business to business. Uh, businesses, B2B businesses, because um, there is so much information online that folks can take a look at and judge you uh, without having that sales conversation. TheVerge.com Google account hacks dropped by half after pushing two-step authentication by default. Isn't that interesting? It just goes to show that two-step authentication is a big deal. It works. Um, and the folks at Google are basically forcing it. Um, from TheVerge.com, that's the top line finding four months into Google's initiative to enroll users in two-factor authentication by default, detailed in a blog post. Um, in October 2021, the company announced plans to turn on two-factor authentication for 150 million Google users who are not currently using the service. Um, so yeah, basically a 50% decrease um, in compromised users. Um, so it's incredibly effective. Um, that's the thing with security is very small little tweaks to your security can have an incredibly profound effect um, on the outcome. Final article of the day, Google launching revamped search ads in three, excuse me, search ads 360. It's a new uh, performance max and discovery campaign option, includes a refreshed UI and greater support. So if you haven't been in Google ads for a while, there's a number of new things that um, are being updated and added, it includes support for some newer Google ads features, um, performance max and discovery campaigns among them greater support for other search engines uh, from searchengineland.com. So if um, you are interested in search ads, you may wanna check out the updates that are happening there. Ladies and gentlemen, let's summarize the news of the day. Tindler Swindler, Simon Leviev is a piece of work. Um, and uh, I wouldn't really give him the time of day. Um, I, I'm shocked and appalled that he only got 15 months in prison um, given how much money he stole. Uh, the reason I think he didn't get more prison time was because he borrowed, quote, that money from these uh, women. So, ladies and gentlemen, be careful who you date. Um, there's a lot of folks out there that uh, do not have your best interest in mind. And they are, they're out to get you. And it's sad, but true. Three ways the pandemic has dramatically changed the labor market. Don't do it, folks. Stay strong. Stay remote. We can do this. Um, we do not need to go back to these offices by and large. There are exceptions, but I would say nine times out of 10, there's no good reason why you need to get back into a car, uh, risk your life to go back to an office uh, where you simply do not need to be there. Um, it can be done remotely. 9to5mac.com, meta threatening to pull Instagram. Yeah, EU's like, go right ahead, dude. Go right ahead. People are not happy with Facebook nowadays. Um, how valuable is the who viewed your profile listing? Could be quite valuable if you're a salesperson and that's what you do precisely. I haven't found much value in it. Thank you very much. Um, security, two-step authentication, it's a big deal. If uh, you don't have that set up already, you may want to because it dramatically reduces the number of um, infiltrations, you could say. And Google Ads adding a new um, feature through Search Ads 360. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna be filming a TikTok uh, at All In Aviation later today. So stay tuned, tiktok.com forward slash send it rising if you wanna see what I'm doing over there. It's a lot of fun doing a lot of barefoot longboarding. 
if you are a fan of the show and you want to support us, subscribe at youtube.com forward slash send it rising. You know, I love you. I'm proud of you. I want you to be happy. Hope you get everything you want in this life. And that's the show. See you next time. Bye for now.